Is cultivation valid for our soils and plants? Well, that's the question that we'll be talking about in this video. So before we start, let's actually talk about what cultivation uh, or tillage actually is. So it's a practice that farmers use pretty much to almost disturb and turn over soil. And, and there's a couple of benefits and there's a couple of negatives. A couple of the benefits include that we can me uh, mechanically remove weeds. So, um, so plowing, for example, where you um, bring your plow over and it turns over the, the soil, that will cause for weeds to turn on pretty much upside down uh, and then they're going to not be able to photosynthesize uh, and then die that way. Another um, benefit is that it aerates the soil. So if you have really compact soils, um, driving a plow through it will turn over that, make it a bit more uh, aerated. And there's a couple other um, tillage methods to really aerate that soil. However, there's a couple of negatives and that's what we'll be talking uh, mainly about today. So the first problem that we can talk about today um, is the impact on um, soil ecology. So the microbes that live within our soil. Now I recommend watching some of our videos on uh, microbes, our soil microbes, um, because um, some of the terminology and ideas um, are really important for this. So pretty much when we drive a um, plow through, say, um, just some soil with, uh, with our plants in there. So you can see here we've got our plant, we've got our root system, we've got our mycorrhizal uh, fungi. So um, that's going to be connecting our plant roots to each other with this network of uh, fungi organisms pretty much. And then in between that, we're gonna have our nematodes and our bacteria. So when we drive, say, um, a chisel plow or anything like that through our soil, even though it might not be a plow and it's just um, kind of taking a, um, a disc through the soil and it's cutting up a line, so it cuts through this line here, that's going to be cutting up um, our mycorrhizal fungi. Now, these kind of act as almost like a, a highway between our plant roots and they can transport, say, so we've got a little bit of um, uh, nitrogen here, it's going to take that nitrogen through this network into our, our plant roots and the, and the plant's actually going to exchange uh, sugars for this. So this is a way that plants can live with um, fungi and then they can both uh, live um, benefiting each other. But if we drive or cut this up, what's going to happen is that um, the mycorrhizal fungi is going to have to give up, I guess, a bit more energy. It's going to have to uh, work a bit harder to grow, um, regrow across. And so it's going to almost uh, stun the production of this uh, highway. And so let's just say this plant here needs nitrogen, but there's not much nitrogen around here, but there's lots in here. The mycorrhizal fungi won't be able to transport the nitrogen from this side uh, to this side to the plant. So what's going to happen is that the mycorrhizal fungi will have to regrow in order for that to occur. So that's our first problem. It's going to be disturbing um, uh, mainly the mycorrhizal fungi or just fungi in general that grow a network across a soil profile. And now that's with um, very little uh, soil disturbance. That's only almost like cutting the soil down the middle. What can happen is uh, with plowing, this whole system gets uh, turned upside down. So we're going to be exposing a lot of our um, soil ecology, all our microbes to UV light. And as we know from UV light, imagine that uh, there wasn't soil here and UV light comes straight in and hit pretty much our um, microbes. What's going to happen is that the um, UV light is going to be damaging to our microbes. It's going to damage some, um, perhaps some um, proteins. And so that protein won't be able to function. And some proteins like enzymes catalyze metabolic reactions. And pretty much they're not going to be able to perform certain tasks that they would be able to. And so they're either going to damage um, so the microbes will prevent them from carrying out different activities. So this will pretty much cause a reduction in the population size, which is not that good uh, if we're aiming to increase fertility um, using microbes. So firstly, we got it's, it's going to be separating um, or cutting up fungi. Next is going to be, oh, definitely with plow, we're going to be damaging with UV light. Next is that we're going to be causing compaction below the layer that is, I guess, being cultivated. So say, say we've got a, a plow that comes in, say this, so this deep, it's going to cover that up. A layer here is going to form of compaction. So this is 
really dominant in clay soils um, where you get, so the tractor's gonna come across, the wheel's going to press down um, a layer of soil. Now this, I guess, section will be fine in terms of compaction because, well, the plow's gonna come along, it's going to turn that over. But we're going to generate a really, I guess, compacted layer here, uh, which will prevent permeation um, of our plant roots. So when the plants come back, they're not going to be able to um, get through this layer. They're going to, I guess, hit that and then disperse outwards. It's going to be too hard for the plant to permeate through that. And so what happens is any nutrients uh, in this layer is going to be accessed. And then um, we're going to, I guess, lose, I guess, uh, water holding potential in here because water is going to hit this, not going to um, be able to infiltrate the, um, the soil of that layer. And so effectively we're um, reducing the space of which plants um, can access nutrients and, and water. Now again, this compaction layer does depend on the on your soil types, the amount of clay. Um, if you have vertisols, which are really high in uh, clay content, that's a, uh, they're really prone to um, compaction. And so over uh, cultivating those kind of soils can really cause a massive effect on um, these compaction paints. Now the last problem that we'll talk about today is that when we're plowing up, uh, I guess, these type of, of soils, we're not giving our plants enough time to um, really put their deep, uh, roots down really deeply. And so, say the compaction pan were, wasn't there, if we weren't cultivating, this plant would be able to move all the way down uh, into the deeper parts of our soil. But what happens is that when we're removing these plants and we're turning them up um, and we're really disturbing them, either they're not going to um, be allowed to put um, really deep roots down because they're going to be physically removed, or these plants are going to be stunned and they're not going to um, pretty much have the energy to put deeper roots down. And so that's another problem with um, turning over your soil a lot. And so if we're trying to aim for plants to establish really deep roots, um, which will access more nutrients and water, we won't be able to do that if we're constantly plowing up our fields. Now, this is, I guess, less of a problem with um, uh, annual uh, grasses because uh, I guess their root systems won't go down as, as far as perennials. And if you're in a, um, a pasture um, or a grazing system, uh, you really want to be able to um, access these um, deeper nutrients so our, um, so our pastures can grow a lot more and access these nutrients. So in conclusion, we're going to be cutting up our mycorrhizal uh, fungi. We're going to be disturbing our plants so they're not going to be putting um, deeper roots down because they're gonna be putting a lot more energy into, I guess, um, restoring what was um, disturbed from them. We're going to be turning over our uh, microbes which are gonna be damaged by UV light and they're also gonna be causing a um, compaction layer, um, which is really bad for, I guess, accessing deeper nutrients, deeper um, um, soil moisture. And finally, when we do um, turn over the soil, we're also going to be oxidizing um, soil organic carbon, uh, which is also um, not, a, uh, not very good for our microbes, not very good for our soil health. Um, and that's because, well, when you expose some um, soil, that's going to uh, interact with oxygen in the atmosphere um, and the soil organic carbon is essentially gonna burn um, without a flame. It's gonna oxidize. Another problem with uh, cultivation is that um, if we do um, flip this over, we're not going to have the, I guess, ground cover that will protect our soil. So any rain that comes in is just going to wash away that soil. So cultivated soils um, increases the soil's potential to be um, eroded. And as we know in the um, soil cover video, we wanna make sure we maximize uh, ground cover so that we can protect our top, our top layer of soil, which is um, highly fertile. Now there are um, different enterprises that need cultivation. And I'm not saying that it's um, a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's, it's important to understand the impacts of, um, of cultivation on all of these systems within our soil um, and how that plays into a, um, effect across our farm because if we're just constantly uh, cultivating not thinking about it we're not going to be realizing this really compacted i guess um, layer here we're not going to be thinking about our um, soil microbes 
we're not going to be thinking about our plants. So just keeping all that in mind um, will, will allow us to, I think, um, think holistically about the practices that we use. If that really resonates with you and you like the idea of building healthy soil um, naturally with using uh, microbes and plants, firstly, check out some of our other videos to get you started. Um, we produce a lot of um, videos like this so you can take um, what you've, I guess, learnt today and, and implement it into your farm. And secondly, we've started consulting on regenerative solutions. So if you like this and you want to start uh, moving your farm towards um, a bit more regenerative um, farming systems and you really want to build soil health, uh, contact us and we'll see if we can uh, help you out. Make sure to contact us uh, and we will be able to help you with this transition um, process. My name is Till Simmons from AgriSoil uh, and this is Agriculture Explained.